We are in a catastrophic amount of events going on in politics as well as wartime. We are in the brink of what may seem a third world war. Now, well, that is still early projection, very extremely early projection. It's still a projection nevertheless because of what is going on. Now, let's look at some things, right? Today, let's let's mark the date down real quick. 6-4-2023, okay? Today, if you count up all the numbers, gives you life path one. The, le the leader life path, number one, okay? It's also 2023, the year of the rabbit. Just some things we're going to put out there real quick. Right now, if you don't already know, it's already, it's probably blasted everywhere. There's a coup going on in Moscow. Moscow has been fled. Now, there is a lot of fear-mongering going on on all sides of the spectrum, from each country spec speculating different things for their own agendas, for their own good and gain, right? Now, Prigozhin, right? He is the one behind this coup, and we must really think about what's going on here, because... What would be a world without Russia, right? That is what Putin entails. He, he he will not give up Russia as easily as it seems. Right now he has fled, but does that mean Putin will give up? Does that mean the people that are loyal to Putin have given up? A lot of unknown in the air, right? A lot of unknown in the air. But let's go over something why it's, that's important. Vladimir Putin, born 10762, the dragon year. We must keep in mind we look into these years specifically because they do have trends numerologically, spiritually, and in modern sense. So, what would happen if Prigozhin actually takes hold of Russia? Well, the question arises, can he keep it? Can he hold on to it? Will they lose Ukraine in the process? Will they keep Russia in the process? That is the question. Now, this thing can multiply into a flurry. It can multiply much further because of the century we're in. The amount of people that already know this is uh, tremendous. This can spin at such a high velocity, right? Now, let's look back to when Vladimir Lenin was in power right he won with a such a small group of people behind him same thing with Mussolini they also won with such small groups of people supporting them this is so essential because we might be in the brink of not necessarily a hot war where it's physical but we are literally seeing something similar to a cold war Okay, um, we want to be crucial of what can happen because this is all about what can happen if things can get hot, if, if Putin wants to make things hot, if, if the US wants to make things hot, if the people involved want to make things hot, but as of right now it's just a cold war because it's more or less a battle for the high ground who has the power in this position who is holding on to the control of russia who is holding on to the power so that is what the coup is really doing is amalgamating the power right distributing the power right now we know that long 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 years and years and years in russian culture and history it has been ruled by authoritative regimes right now if there's any chance of progression or dismantling a said society, this is it. 